morning. Yogi Tim here. Yogi Tim here. I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga. Gonna get ourselves ready for the day. Gonna prepare the temple so that we can have the best life. So we're gonna do a little bit of yoga that's going to a little kundalini yoga this morning. Uh, that one is going to spark the fire of creation in our life in our being to live our best life you'll be you'll be surprised the energy that comes up and the vitality the healing that happens during these sessions is amazing the positive transformation gonna absolutely love it so why don't we just get into the yoga part because that's where the magic really really happens is the yoga part i'm gonna set i like to have a little bit of timing here so just because well good to keep things on a schedule so i'll do a little bit of timing here so we'll do some yoga together so this is a great one that you can do to invoke that passion this is my intention for the set you'll get your chance to do put in your intentions very soon so first things we're going to do is we're going to wherever you're sitting if you can sit on the floor cross-legged easy pose you can always put a pillow under your butt to Help straighten the spine if you like to. If that's not cool with you, then sit on a chair. Sit on, uh, you know, sit on the couch. Uh, sit more closer to the edge of the chair, though, so that your spine can be straight and your head can be straight as well. A great way to start it. Or if you're sitting on the floor, it's okay if you want to sit with your legs out in front of you like so. That is okay. Whatever is comfortable for you to do here, as long as you take part and, and enjoy the magic of what we're doing here. So we're going to start this off with rubbing our hands together, waking up all 140,000 nerve endings in our hands, our palm chakras, bringing it into the heart center, closing our eyes, gently settling in, taking a few moments here to settle into your meditation seats. Taking that inner journey. And let's just do a little check-in with ourselves and see how we feel this morning. No judgment. This is a space that is free of judgment. You can feel good. You can feel bad. You can feel somewhere in between. Just being honest with yourself. And then gently giving yourself permission to take those, all of that emotion, all of that mental processing, physical traumas or successes, and put them in a bag or in a suitcase and set them outside of your yoga practice. We don't need them right now. We, we just need to be here in the moment right now with our true self. This is where the positive transformation happens through the session. Now setting your intention for your practice today. What do you want to have as a result of showing up and diligently practicing? Just feeling that intention. Feel that intention as it's been successfully completed on the other side of your yoga practice this morning. And then in a moment, we're going to open the practice with the triple Om chant. So Om is the vibration of creation. It is the God particle the vibration that is in everything that's created and physically manifested and non-physically manifested. So we're going to bring that intention up and we're going to channel it out into our physically manifested world in our life to create our goals, dreams, and visions so they don't just die in our mind. So we'll inhale, exhale completely. You clear the breath, full inhale, and we'll ohm together. Or you can just listen to me ohm. I like to do it. But it's a great internal massage. You'll notice the difference and the benefits. So here we go. Inhale completely and exhale. Inhale 
rightfully to own. completely for the last and very best on inhale completely at the end hold the breath at the top gently Exhale, slowly, palms up on your knees, receiving posture. Take a moment with the eyes closed just to take in the start of the yoga practice. Now we're going to bring the left hand into Nyan Mudra. Thumb and forefinger touching, other three fingers are stretched out, palm up on your knee. The next right hand we're going to do for alternate nostril breathing. This is going to be our first pranayama. So we're going to plug the right nostril, inhale through the left. Plug the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Plug the right, exhale through the left. Repeat the cycle, that was quite one full cycle. Inhale through the left. Plug the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Plug the right, exhale through the left. Keep the process going, inhale through the left, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, exhale through the left. Keep this process going. This is a fabulous process here to balance out your energetic systems, all of your chakra systems. Just through this breath, we're going to bring into balance, harmony, alignment. We're going to purify them and energize them in such a way here. And we're also going to connect the communication between the left and the right hemispheres of the brain connecting the connection with the uh, masculine and feminine energies, the water and the fire energies, the yin and the yang. Wherever you are, inhaling through one nostril, plugging that nostril, exhaling through the other, completing the cycle. You can do this for another minute and a half, so just really have your eyes closed and enjoy the breath, the breath of life here. another 30 seconds here. And the last time that you exhale through your left nostril, inhale completely through both, holding the breath at the top, 
Eyes gently closed. Exhale slowly. And just take it in. Be the observer for a few moments here of how you feel. Take in that energy. Probably feel a shift already just from what we've done so far in the practice. And we're only about 10 minutes in. So the best is yet to come. more breaths here and then flutter your eyes open you can have a little sip of water if you need and then we're gonna do some Sufi grind so we're gonna wake up the energy the Kundalini energy at the base of the spine so palms down on your knees you can really use your arms here to help you as well so we're gonna inhale chest open across the front exhale chest closed across the back inhale across the front exhale across the back Really working in the bowl of the spine here while opening and closing the chest here. We're just starting to wake everything up as you ex inhale across the front and then exhale across the back. Go where you are if you can go faster because you're awake and you're stretched and you're warmed up then do so. If you are not, no stress. Go where you are, there's no injuries needed here. We're just warming and waking up. This is really just a warm up posture. You're doing so great. And then switch direction, inhaling across the front. Exhale the back. It may feel awkward and weird and one side is tighter than the other, but we're really opening up that center of the body. We're really opening everything up, preparing the body to heal, to grow, to transform. And what we do to the body also happens to the mind. So the mind is flexible, the body is flexible, the life is flexible. The ability to create the best life and when things aren't going as well in contrast, to be able to surf the silver lining. Inhaling across the front, Exhaling the back, inhaling the front, and exhaling the back. Just a few more here. And the next time you come center, inhaling up, holding the breath in, gently closing the eyes, palms up in the lap. Exhale gently. Eyes gently closed still, just taking that in. Take a moment here. Normal breathing. We'll get to more soon. You're doing great. You're doing amazing. Couple more breaths here, flutter the eyes open when you're ready. Next we're going to do spinal flex, we're going to open up the central nervous system. We're really going to work on the chakras from the root to the throat here and then we're going to open it all the way up through the head just with this one. We're going to work our way through the chakra system, really healing, opening, aligning, cleansing, purifying. All of the magic is happening now. Enjoy. Palms on your shins, fingers in front, thumbs in the back. We're gonna inhale the chest up, exhale the chest back. Really rocking in the lower back and spine, inhaling up, exhaling back. 
Inhaling up, exhaling back, opening the spine, chin level. We'll open the chin soon. And if you're really flexible here and you're a yogi and you practice these things, you're physically fit, which I hope you are. And if you're not, no stress, but if you are, you can go faster. Close your eyes, get into the rhythm and the breath, inhaling up, exhaling back. A healthy spine, a flexible spine is a flexible mind. And when your heart is open, your life is open. So this one is good to do. Do it really sincerely. And then bring the palms down on the, on the knees, arms straight. Continue the same process, but get the head involved. Inhale the head up, exhale back. Keeping the arms straight, really just feeling that posture opening. You know, we do a lot of sitting and looking at screens and hunched over and, and sit in the same posture. And this one is great for posturing, opening up through the shoulder blade, through the heart center. Really rocking and rolling in the hips there, back and forth. You should feel yourself rocking back and forth on your butt. And then inhale up, straight spine. Hold the breath in. Exhale, palms up on your knees, just take that in. You're doing so great. Eyes gently closed. Explore how you feel, the openness, the expansiveness in yourself, the flexibility, the strength, the courage that you're bringing to your practice. And just take a few moments here to enjoy the meditation in between the chaos, the stirring of the energy, and then the meditation and the settling of the energy. Couple more breaths here, fluttering your eyes open, and then we're going to go into something that's called ego eradicator. I, I like to call it making friends with your ego because we need a healthy balance in here of ego and wisdom that's coming through. So we need that healthy balance. So the mudra is, is your mudra is your hand position, fingers into the pads, or the knuckles of your hands, thumbs are stretched out. 60 degree angle. We don't want to put them there yet, but that's our that's that's our hand position right there that we're going to hold there for a couple of minutes with a breath pattern. So women, if you're on your moon cycle, long deep breathing. Uh, any other uh, case, no excuse, do it. Uh, navel pump, that's where the breath of fire is that we're going to use for the pranayama part, so the breathing part. Strong navel pump, so kind of like panting like a dog. So you can start this one if you're not exposed. Tongue out of your mouth. When you're ready, do that through the nose. Now let's add the hand positions and we're going to hang out here. So fingers into the pads of your hands, thumbs, plug them into the sky and we're going to do breath of fire, close your eyes, find a rhythm, enjoy the process.
keep it going nice strong navel pump keep a nice rhythm eyes or eyes are gently closed with the awareness just your awareness of the third eye point between the brow just pumping the navel waking up all 140,000 nerve endings at your navel center and allowing that to cleanse your nervous system your energetic system And can be a bit challenging as you go and feel a bit awkward but just keep it going do the best that you can do take a break take a break for a moment if you need to a little breath a little bit of a swallow and then continue and then next inhale inhale nice and strong Hands together in prayer overhead, hold it nice and tall, hold the breath in. Exhale, gently sweep the arms down through the aura, through your energy field, down, palms up in your lap, right and left, thumbs touching. Just taking that in for a few moments, feel what you feel. You probably feel warm now after that one, but feel what else you feel. Normal breathing, take a few moments. the magic of the meditation in between the asanas or the movements just feeling what you feel and taking that internal journey of positive transformation stuff's magic changes your world changes your life all from taking 60 minutes just to transform yourself into your best self. more breaths here and turn yourself back into the space flutter your eyes open have a little drink of water and if you're watching this hopefully you've got some tunes on in the background that are helping you be meditative I like to uh, throw on some reggae you know a little bit of uh, you know I can't do it for a video because uh, copyright infringement laws here so put on something with a beat because we're gonna go to our feet <laughs> get things out of the way as best you can see if I can set my timer here and uh, what we're gonna do is come into a nice mountain pose a little loosely and we're gonna start to shake just bouncing we're gonna shake let your hands bounce let your head bounce let your knees bounce just shaking just let yourself shake we're gonna be here for a few minutes we're gonna vibrate and loosen up every single cell and molecule in the body Go side to side on one leg or the other. This is scientifically proven that doing this for up to 20 minutes a day can take out some of the biggest uh, diseases that we have on this planet. This is one of those 
yogic secrets, you know, you've been bouncing on your toes, let yourself just bounce, let the shoulders bounce up and down, you know, see from the side you can even jump and hop and, you know, just let the head go loose, go back down to the heels. And then with the eyes closed, continue to shake and bounce, it's the Shakti shake. Put a gentle smile in your mind there. Or if there's somewhere in your body that needs it, or in your mind, or your emotions, place it there. Place a gentle smile there. And this will just begin to take itself over. As you shake, it will just continue to keep going for you as it happens. So just shaking it all out. Letting everything shake. Shake the pelvic region. Shake the chest up and down, the shoulders, let the head go loose and shake too. One of my favorites, I love shaking. We're only going to do a few minutes of shaking today, but sometimes I like to do a lot longer. I'll do the 20 minute shaking, but I generally do that on my own or with yogis that really want to take it to a deeper, deeper level in a more advanced class. So on the balls of your feet a bit, shaking, really letting the shoulders shake. And settling back down. Doing so great. Another 30 seconds of shaking, just really letting yourself shake it out here. Letting every single cell and molecule in your body come to life. Any stagnant energy in there is being shaken free into a state of healthy symbiotic harmony with your body and with your mind and with your soul. And then slow the shaking down, slow it down, slow it down. Let the hands slowly come down to the side, bringing the feet in closer together. Nice mountain pose. Hands, palms out, fingers stretched towards the floor, grounding through the feet. Feeling a connection through the top of the head as the, the spine is pulled straight. Closing your eyes and just feeling what you feel right now. Feel all of the tingling of the energy through your body, through your system. Take a few more moments here. And then when you're ready, flutter your eyes open. We're going to go into a little strong bow. So we're going to start in a lunge. So for those people that are familiar with uh, Hatha Yoga, with the warrior, we're just going to step ourselves into the warrior. So the back foot is turned out. You can see my back foot turned that way into a forward lunge. Knee is over the ankle. That's important. The alignment is important here. And then we're going to open the bow, pulling the chest open. So the chest is facing this way, flush, thumb up. And we're going to do a strong breath of fire here for a minute here. And this is how we're going to keep our eye on our vision. That's our target. Doing great. Nice strong breath of fire. Eye on your vision. Eye on your dream. The goals that you want to achieve. See them.
Now inhale deep. Hold the breath, hold the posture. Exhale, step forward. Release that arrow. Arms down to the side. Eyes closed, normal breathing. Feel that vision and that dream being completed, being completely successful. You've been completely successful in achieving that now. You've brought that to you, you've fired the arrow. It is now magnetized into your life and is part of your being now. Doing great. Take another moment here. And then we're going to step back into a right lunge. So the left leg is going to be back with the heel, with the foot turned out. Right leg lunge. Knee over ankle alignment is important. Open the bow, open the chest, look past your thumb, then close your eyes. And then breath of fire for women on your moon cycle. Long, deep breathing. Look towards your vision. vision strong breath of fire really just keeping an eye on where your target is your goal and then inhale completely hold the posture hold the breath Exhale, release the arrow into your goal, into your target. Bring your arms down to your side into a mountain pose, into a strong mountain pose. Eyes gently closed, feeling and embodying that goal, that vision, that dream, being magnetized to you in an extremely powerful way. more breaths here just to take that in feel that energy the energy of creation through that's a strong warrior in half of that's a warrior that's a warrior two that you're doing there so it's a strong pose grounding lots of strength in the core lots of strength in the upper body lots of blood flow breath flow purification magic that was just a magical one the next one we're going to do is frogs often not a favorite of people but i like frogs anyway so and why they call them frogs is because they look a bit like a frog so heels are going to be together toes out we're going to squat down chest up right so just like that that looks good there fingertips on the floor and then we're going to inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down do that for a count of 30 if you can. If you can only do 10, that's cool. If you can do 20, that's cool. If you can do 30, do all 30. So here we go. I'm going to do the 30 anyway. So I've already done two. Go. 
your last one. Inhale up and just let yourself hang forward. I'll go to the side. You can bend your knees slightly and just let yourself hang. Let the arms dangle. Let the head dangle. Feeling that stretch in the back of the legs there. Through the life nerve. You can like rock back and forth a little bit, dragging your hands on the ground if they're touching the ground. No pressure if they're not. And then on an inhale, slowly inhale and ragdolling yourself up to standing. Give the shoulders a couple of rolls backwards, a couple of rolls forward. And then we're going to find our way down onto our mat again. <clears throat> Play handy dandy timer. So, on our mat here now, we can have our legs out in front of us. A little bit of a wide leg stretch here. Not sure if you can see that, but you can kind of see my feet. There we go. Let's see. Camera angles, eh? So, <clears throat> from here, we're going to be inhaling up, turning to the left, turning. And then exhale, fold over where you can on your left side. Inhale up, turn, and fold over your right. So let's do that together. We're going to repeat this process for a minute together. So inhale up, turn, exhale, fold. Inhale up, turn, exhale, fold. Go wherever your speed is. Go wherever your endurance is, your flexibility. If you're feeling pain, you don't need to do this. You can just breathe. If you're feeling good and flexible, then go for it. It's great for the life nerve. It's great for the sciatic nerve. It's great for opening the side body. Now inhale up completely, exhale, fold over your toes. If you can grab your big toes and hook your thumb, pushing your thumb into your big toenail. And inhale, pull back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward like this. Chin level looking out, really working the kidneys, balancing the water energy in the body so that we can balance the fire energy in the heart. Inhale up, bring the feet together, exhale, fold where you can go over your toes, over your, if it's just on your shins, that's cool. If you can reach right around your feet, that's awesome. And just let your head dangle, let gravity take over here, and we're just going to do some long, deep breathing here. Just enjoying this stretch. Letting yourself relax a little deeper each time into the stretch every time you exhale. Letting the arms go, letting the shoulders relax, letting the head and the neck relax. Let the lower back release and relax. Let the ligaments and the tendons and the legs and the knees relax. And then on 
your next inhale, come up to sitting, and then just let yourself slide gently back into a nice shavasana on your back. Releasing and relaxing the lower back, palms facing up, feet gently splayed out. Taking a moment to relax here, just to breathe and be. And you are doing fantastic, you're doing amazing. Take a moment in this savasana, this short savasana, to pat yourself on the back for showing up and doing this practice. It is amazing, and you are going to notice the benefits if you haven't already started to notice them. Couple more breaths here. And then we're gonna bring our bend our knees, bring the feet up towards the butt. If you can see that there. Yeah, you can see that. That's good. And then adjust your shirt. If you can grab your ankles or grab your shins down below, that's great. If you can't, just put your hands on the floor or you can put them in Venus lock below your butt. Venus lock is just your hands are interlaced. Um, so I'm going to do the, the more extreme version by grabbing my ankles. And here we're going to inhale up into a bridge, rolling our shoulders under, exhale down. Inhale the pelvis up, exhale it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Go at your own pace if you're not as flexible here or your legs aren't as strong. Go slower. If you're experiencing any pain that, that's going to cause harm, make sure to stop or modify in any way. That's what inhale up, hold the breath in, push up as high as you can. You can even put your hands under your butt, push up a little higher. Then exhale slowly, lower down, hold the breath out. And then inhale your knees into your chest, rock and roll side to side. Release the lower back. Take some casual, nice breaths here with your eyes gently closed. Hmm. Doing amazing. We're getting there. It's a nice, strong practice. And then when you're ready, Hands under your knees, rock and roll on the spine. We're gonna do this a good seven to 10 times, just giving yourself a spine massage. Exhaling as you roll up towards your butt. Inhale as you roll back. And on your last time, coming up to sitting, you're doing great. You are doing amazing. About 45 minutes into this practice, have a sip of water. And we're going to work the rest of the chakra system. So if you're wanting to do this from a chair, if that's where you're comfortable, if you're comfortable doing it from easy seat, do that. I'm going to go into rock pose, so that's sitting on my heels, because I like rock pose. They say if you sit in rock pose enough and long enough, you should be able to digest rocks. Kind of neat, but I'm not going to try it out personally, but 
but uh, I like the, the, the thought of it. Sounds fun. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to do a little spinal twisting. So I got my handy dandy timer and everything here. So spinal twist. Hands, fingers on the front of your shoulder, thumbs towards the back. We're going to inhale, twist the left, exhale to the right. Let the head and neck go loose now. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale left, exhale right. Really opening the spine and the heart here. Putting a gentle smile on your face. Inhaling left, exhaling right. You're doing so amazing. One more minute here, just doing it sincerely, really developing that mental toughness and perseverance. You can do this for two minutes. You can do anything in life. You can thrive in any condition, in any circumstance. more seconds doing so great inhale hold the posture and hold the breath in exhale release palms up in the lap take that in for a few moments Eyes gently closed, just taking that meditation in between, feeling the energy that you've just generated, feeling all of that kundalini creative energy coming up from the base of the spine up through the entire body now, as we continue to work our way up through the upper chakras. Great, taking a couple more breaths here, gently fluttering your eyes open when you're ready. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean our energy, our aura, the energy around us that is still part of us, that is still influencing us. We're gonna cleanse that by palms are up, like giant angel wings here, touching the floor. We're going to inhale the arms up, exhale, turn, the arms to touch the fingertips on the floor, inhale them up to touch, exhale, turn, inhale up. And we're going to do that for a couple minutes. So set yourself into a nice pace, inhaling up, exhaling down. Let's get into this and really enjoy fluffing up our energy and giving ourselves big angel wings. Here we go. Inhale up, exhale down.
is going. If you inhale up, exhale down, go at your own pace. If it's slower, that's cool. If it's faster, that's great. Uh, say a little prayer inside yourself. I'm unstoppable. I, I am completely unstoppable. I can continue this no matter what. This is creating such a courage, a strength, a mental toughness and perseverance with you. It is unreal. Thirty more seconds. Do it sincerely. You got this. Inhale. Arms overhead, hands in prayer, hold the breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms down through the aura, back into your lap, palms facing up, right and left. Take a moment to just take that in. Take a few more breaths here, and then we're gonna put the palms down on your lap wherever you are, sitting, sitting with legs stretched out, still in rock pose if you're joining me in rock pose, and we're going to work on the shoulders, releasing all of the stress that we carry in our shoulders, waking that up, that stress of expectation for ourselves, the ones we carry from others. We're gonna inhale the left shoulder up, exhale the right, inhale the left, exhale the right, inhale the left, and then we'll switch in the middle and inhale them both up and drop them on the exhale. I'll cue you for that. So we're gonna inhale left, exhale right for now. Let's do that together. Inhale them both up and exhale up and drop. Should hear some snap, crackle, and pop, I'm sure, in there, and that's normal, that's okay, that's perfectly healthy, releasing all that energy. Then inhale them up completely, hold the breath in, shoulders to the ears, exhale release, take a moment with the palms up in your lap just to take that in, absorb it in, we're getting there, we're really getting there. One, one more moving asana before we go into a little shavasana. And then we will finish in a little meditation of gratitude and we will om our way into a completely amazing positive transformation. And when you're ready, we're going to do some neck rolls, slow, slow, slow neck rolls, please. Chin to your chest, inhale across the front. Exhale across the back. 
Nice and slow. Inhale across the front. Exhale across the back. That's right. Inhale the front. Exhaling the back. Inhale the front. Exhale the back. We'll do two more on this side. Nice and slow. Next time the chin comes to the chest, switch directions, inhaling across the front, exhaling across the back. Really just opening the throat chakra, balancing the hormones in the body, working with the third eye, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland in the brain. And opening it up and releasing up through the crown chakra at the top of the head. Two more delicious neck rolls here. And then when the chin comes to chest next time, inhale it up straight. Nice gentle inhale, fill the body. Exhale gently. And then slowly find your way in a gentle way into Shavasana, which is laying on your back. Relaxing down on your back now. Relaxing deeply on your back. Palms facing up. Feet splayed out to the sides. Gently bringing your awareness to releasing and relaxing all the energy in your toes. Bringing in the warmth of golden light, of golden sunshine. Feeling your toes, relaxing your toes, your feet. Through the bottom of your feet, the top of your feet. Relaxing your heels, your ankles. Bringing that warm golden light up through your shins. To your calves. Bringing that relaxation and warmth and healing of the golden light up through your knees. Relaxing your quads, your hamstrings, your thighs, all the way up to your hips. Bringing that golden light energy through your buttocks, through your hips, your pelvic region, your reproductive organs. Bring that relaxing, healing energy up through your abdomen, your lower back, all the vital organs in between, kidneys, liver, digestive system, stomach, relaxing up through the middle back now. Golden light up through your shoulder blades. Relaxing the shoulder blades, the shoulders up through the chest, the heart, the lungs, the rib cage, relaxing them. Relaxing your chest, your shoulders. Relaxing your arms down through your biceps, triceps, to your elbows. Relaxing forearms, bring that golden, warm, healing light into your hands, your thumbs, your fingers. Bringing that deeply healing and relaxing energy up through your throat. Relaxing your face, your jaw, your tongue, your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your ears. The golden relaxing light releasing and relaxing through your forehead. Relaxing your brain top of your head, down through the back of your head, and relaxing down through your neck and releasing and filling your entire body with the warmth of that golden radiant light that is completely eradicating all of the distress in your being and bringing in ease and flow, 
uncertainty, strength, perseverance, courage, happiness, joy, peace. And just relaxing in for a couple more breaths here, just taking it in. Slowly deepening the breath, bringing your attention back to your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your wrists and your ankles, do a little cat stretch overhead, point your toes at the wall on the opposite side of you. And then gently roll onto one side or the other into the fetal position. Taking this moment of rebirth here into your new positively transformed self that is either in line with your goals, succeeded in them, or is on the way to succession of your goals and dreams. And then gently and slowly push yourself back up to sitting in an easy posture here. I'm going to use a pillow because I like to. And why not? So from here, palms up in the lap, and we're going to take two minutes. Let's take three minutes. Why not? Three minutes, three things you are grateful for and why. Why are you grateful for these things? Really set into that space. Really just allow yourself to feel grateful. And that's the only thing that you can feel is thankful, grateful, appreciative energy. gentle smile on the face and the mind wherever the body needs it Just finishing up now and really going deep into the, what you're grateful for, why you're grateful for it. Fear cannot exist when the mind is focused on gratitude. Doubt cannot exist when the mind is focused on gratitude. And with the eyes gently closed, we're going to slowly close out our practice by bringing our hands together in prayer position at the heart center. You can rub them together to wake up all the nerve endings if you desire to. I like to. I would recommend it. And we're going to do an inhale, exhale to cleanse the breath. And then we're going to inhale to OM and do the triple OM chant to close out the practice and really bring into fruition, into physical manifestation, that which we intended to with our intentions at the beginning of this practice. This positive transformation is really going to take hold now. So inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> and then inhale to OM.
completely hold the breath in at the top, bring the hands, palms together at the third eye point between the brow. Exhale, releasing the hands, opening the eyes and returning back to the space. That was a beautiful practice. I'm very grateful for you to be here and join me to do this yoga practice for really stoking that fire for the passion of life. Like you will notice the inspiration pretty well immediately to do all of those wonderful things that are going to bring about your best life today, now. And all those moments of joy that you're gonna account for are gonna happen live action, physically manifested and created life beautiful existence. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm wishing you a happy, most enjoyable, positive day that you can have. Please feel free to do this yoga anytime you want to. If you want more or private yoga, one-on-one -on -one yoga that's catered to you, please just let me know and I will make something up for you. I will design one for you with knowing what you're wanting as well as if you just want to chat and get to know me a bit, please send me a message. Uh, if you're interested in taking your life to another level through some coaching, through, through life coaching, we'll do this. I've got a six uh, series progression here. Magic transformation. I do it for myself as often as I can because it is always helpful to know where my shadow sides are so that I can grow. Happy that you're here. So amazing. Wishing you an abundantly blessed day. Go out there, live it, live your best life, live your the most enjoyable life, take it to the top. See you next time.